and we are now live. Welcome to Transformers the Show for the fourth Hasbro Pulse reveals, which could be. Um, well, I know Spider Father's made a guess, he's kind of out the box there, but he has said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know, which could alternate. Maybe be moving sort of face plates, you know, to give you the four different characters, meaning you can order four of these things, and maybe some squeeze play action. But I don't know, it's a bit left field there for me, Spider Father. You might be wrong. I'm thinking it's Primus. But Definitely Primus. Yeah, that, that's what I suggest. Masterpiece, Lou. Flawless. Well, Pete, what do you think about today? Well, I might have potentially um, looked into the crystal ball of social media and I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say it's going to be turtles related. Ooh. And if not... Controversial. And if not, I want to see you for no reason. <laughs> yeah, mate, just tight. take that... Just take that t-shirt <laughs> off. Let's just see some nudity. <laughs> it's early enough. No, this time on the Thursday. No, we can't. We don't want to. We don't want to risk anybody kicking off that nipple. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, we probably know what we're going to see if we're being yeah. completely honest. Does it? Re does it reduce the fun? Not really, because you guys are here, and that's always fun. <laughs> yeah. I think. I mean, I didn't. I didn't hear a wholehearted agreement on that one. <laughs> um, I. I feel like um, a lot of the guys are, are right. Let's be honest. With the strategic leaks that we get, we'd have seen something about Swoop if it was coming today. Um, I mean, this is me double bluffing them, and maybe they will release Swoop, in which case I'm quite happy to be wrong. Um, but I think in true fashion, why is this week going to be any different to the previous three weeks? Um, it, it mm. should just be some background on probably what we've seen in the last couple of days, which, which is a good thing. You know, we've obviously got the four pack. We've got the uh, the turtle wagon, both uh, exceptional uh, reveals. Let's hope that there's something else. I yeah, think. we could get into a whole debate about these reveals and the leaks and everything, but that's probably for a different show. Maybe one that's on on a Friday night. Around 8 p.m. live on YouTube. Although I don't know why I'm preaching to the people who are already watching. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's Just in case you guys don't watch it on aware, <laughs> we do do actually a live show. Well, we do this quite regularly, almost every week, except when we're out drinking. So how long have we got, Jamie? How long's left on the counter? About two minutes, but for some reason I can't see the um, live video. It's just like a white blank screen. Which Ooh. is a bit worrying. Then we shall let you do technical stuff to check that. Try closing it down, going back in again. <laughs> That's as technical as I get. Switch it off and back on again. Top. Yeah, have you whacked it? I mean, have you have you looked at the Hasbro Pulse website and YouTube and can you see the actual video? Uh that or is, is it just a what tremendous question. I have not, because I came straight onto ours, but I'm gonna sneak on over there now, see if anything's showing. To, to, to stay with us. Is that the surprise? There isn't a large surprise. They said there was. Are they going to prove it? Actually... Um, oh, Hasbro Live Transfer March 28th. Yes, I can see one. I you will share it then. Uh, you can share it. Uh, well, I'm on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> hang on hang on let me just if i send the link to you because you're no, on your share on your laptop so i don't just have in to case, uh, just share in case you're wondering guys at home <laughs> I've sent if you it want now. to see more of this professionalism please join us on friday hey night normally night. normally yeah. jamie's bang on with this he's got everything sorted but this time they're being sneaky for some reason maybe it's to avoid leaks too late now too late now Andy, share the screen. <laughs> it's, I'm on. I'm not. I'm on my phone though. I haven't got it open on my computer. <laughs> we'll open uh, it up on your computer and share. <laughs> it's so, so now you're asking me to do stuff. See, this uh, is what I'm getting. Okay. Have you been blocked? That's March 14th. Are you I on know. The wrong one? I was giving you an example. <laughs> oh. 
Do you know I just shall I just watch it and then maybe transcribe it? Or you can share the dance. There's two of you here. One of you should be able to I can't. I haven't got I I I'm not allowed. wait. Which one's this? Last 28, 2024. Right, how do I share this with all you? Share screen. Do I have to prepare it to share the sound and everything, or will it just do it automatically? Yeah, it will just, if you share the Bezer thing, it will do it automatically. It should do. And I'm going into Hasbro Pulse. Is that showing it all for you? Can you see it? The cherry bit. Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah, so pick on the tab which has Hasbro Pulse. Da, da, da. So I can add to stage. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then all you need to do is put the sound on. Now these medallions each have the iconic shield of each faction. The set of two heavily embossed medallions are supplied with this handy little display case that comes within the presentation box. The set is individually numbered, limited Lovely to only 5,000 worldwide, and these are available <laughs> And it's a stand, not a case. Today. But for those who want something a little less metal and more 80s, we have fresh tunes just for you. Originally released on vinyl only, in 2018, this album features music from seasons one through Marcus, three of sure the Transformers changed. animated series, which debuted in 1984. <laughs> We're now getting all the, the merch first, aren't we? That's the thing. I wonder what shampoo he uses because it certainly has been this year, Shane. The tracks include What's wrong with Megatron's face? and 80s inspired synth tracks, Squished. which were remastered from the original tapes by one of the original composers, Rob Walsh. But today, I have a special guest joining to share a sneak peek and a listen to what we will all be jamming out to this summer. Now, most of you know this person as one of the graphic designers behind the movie poster art scene with beautiful anniversary art, like what he did for the Transformers, the movie a couple years ago. Well, he's back in the Transformers sandbox with some exciting new art and his very first vinyl cover in celebration of the 40th anniversary Welcome to Matt Ferguson. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Hello, uh, I'm okay, thank you. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> on expanding your already very impressive portfolio. So with this being your first music art cover, you the what were you the most excited about? Still did it though, didn't I? Doing <laughs> a vinyl square, so I usually do posters, and movie posters. That's so. talking different size and shape <laughs> so it's just approaching it in a completely different way so i was excited about that and then also it's a gatefold so i got to do the inside reveal as well and i had a clear idea what i wanted to do for that so it was doing it in a different format to what i usually do awesome so how do you feel that the narrative this format really differs from the poster scene besides like the gatefold here was there anything else that you had to accommodate that was different uh, well, obviously, things like track listings. Um, so usually I, the most I would do would be like a, a, a film title or credits. But this has got like 40-something tracks on it. So, yeah, straight away you have to think about the space for that real estate and the art where that's going to go, which obviously is going to be on the back, but still lots of space. So all different approach. Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot more time. On <laughs> this is the this poster. really is flowing this interview, isn't it? So, how did you <laughs> tackle this to make it feel authentic? Were there like any adjustments or liberties you had to take with the art? Uh, well, it's for the original cartoon series. So, first of all, I wanted it to evoke my memory of that, which is the opening sequence of the cartoon itself. So that was my sort of first call was to go let's do elements from the opening sequence of season one of transformers um but then you know as you go you change design and you go well, let's put in a bit of this why are these that, always so awkward pete i think it's because they're star cross like, lovers like, prime for example I, I, <laughs> I, I, I would i would agree um, um 
He's an exceptional yeah, artist. Accommodating that cartoon. Exceptional style artist. Is. Is it hey, for last year? Was it the I'm going to block brain time off. I'm fucking... No, he's not. <laughs> Optimus Prime's head. I think when we were talking, were there some differences yeah. like in the smokestacks that you wanted to focus in on? Yes, obviously in the in the original cartoon, the way they did it was quite quick and fast because it was a Saturday morning cartoon and it was cell-shaded animation. So like for when there was like a metal, it was usually just sort of like grey with a black line on I wanted to bring in more of the sort of chrome, a slight sort of. Well, she has got well manicured fingernails like and she's models. Just, you know, characters exactly how they look. I think she's an improvement over then Marcus, to be honest. More of the sort of shading and styling <laughs> from. Yes, like, I'm toys going out there. And also I'm, I'm, just yep. like reality to just give it a bit more dimensionality. <laughs> oh, Moff, you're gonna you're gonna rile him. <laughs> Please don't. I have to live with it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I know you had to pull in a bunch of different uh... reference points to get it to where it's at, which is great. Um, so, just some questions. So, we were talking about the uh, 2018 album before. I'm curious what you were keen to keep design wise in this from the first release in '85 versus the 2018 release. Well, when I'm doing something like this, I try not to look at what was done before the rule, but also because yeah, I've it's never seen her before. The old She's actually doing really cartoon. well. I just, said when yeah. I just came in, sort of the brief yeah, yeah, yeah. make uh, it as if it came out. Did she not do something on like, like, so PulseCon, like not last year, the year before? Sort of vintage style. I'm not, it's always maybe. you, Pete, maybe. I don't know. Sort <laughs> what, of, one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only a year ago. They might not necessarily. <laughs> in the old 80s artwork sometimes i'm a born again um, christian but yeah the approach was just to make it like the memory of the cartoon <sighs> back then you know god this reminds me of saturday born and, and dull uh, <laughs> i think we actually do have a little time lapse video of the art that you created i think we can show that here somebody click there it is. <laughs> Oh, this is like a fade in, eh? Good and excited. Remix. <laughs> When you're watching something like this, you do realise how untalented you are, don't you? <laughs> I don't know. Like, um... I, used to I don't need that, to see I? this, Pete. I can just feel like <laughs> day to day. Well, it depends. I mean, have you read the Kama Sutra? <laughs> I don't need to read it. I, could, I, I am. I, could do I am six. the Kama Sutra. <laughs> yes, well, Pete, you know. <laughs> At least I can remember her name and I call it out. <laughs> when you're the Kama Sutra, Jamie, you don't need to. Also, while you're watching this, if you like you what you're names. hearing, you can listen to the extended 80s remix just of numbers. the opening title that was created just for the anniversary. It's actually available today across all of your favorite well, well digital played, Pete. I like music you platforms, in the including Spotify, and Apple Music, that was, that was and awesome. Amazon Music. So we're actually going to share more remixes come July, and this will be the first time that we make official Transformers music available digitally because obviously digital assets didn't exist in the 80s. So we're very excited to share that out. And to that point, Matt, how did you approach making this feel like it did come out of the archives? Um, but I know you modernized it to appeal to today's audience. So it's obviously high I resolution. You modernize it. <laughs> uh, on the computer, but got to kind of like, I think, take into account that when like the logos and the art. I like really it's made it up the behind. 80s, yeah, it was all stuff. Oh, done yeah. By yeah he's there. So he's, I mean, trying to give it Dino that Dinobot collection there. Sort of making yeah. it all. You know, Star Wars. I'm going like to him right now. It's better to say it. My stuff's say. better. <laughs> and, and <laughs> unicorn like into that. robot there's, mode. There's the faction symbol behind. I've done that. I just can't transform it back. I know, Rohan. Rohan that was that was that was big news to know that just digital assets weren't just, available in the eighties. It's uh, I I mean, feel we're like all stunned, but we know what she meant. Um, That's the reveal. That's the reveal. Um, <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I've been a little bit pinnacky to the Rohan. Represented it beautifully. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Yeah, Rohan. All right. So yeah, last Rohan. question here, and I'm. Pretty sure I know the answer. Because um, you got Autobot it in your script. Or Decepticon, Matt. 
Autobot. That's a shame. Yeah, we liked you. We liked you. Never mind. Because I always just like. I open for you. There's my kicking now. That's fair. But I have to say, for everybody who hasn't seen it yet, which she is one of my people, clearly, you did end up representing both factions beautifully balanced. You actually selected four key scenes, and I'm curious how you decided which scenes you wanted to use. Like, what was on your required list to make the cut? So it's all sort of taken essentially from the opening sequence. And then so there's like some shots on the back as well from that. And so it's just to sort of hammer it home. Is anyone getting this? This is the sort of Gents? opening and a little bit of the end what? credits as well when there's... Are we, the um, they're going to release it on vinyl, aren't they? That's what they said. That's kind of like... Are you a vinyl collector? Yeah, it's that whole thing of them just sort of running at each other to battle. Imagine if they reveal... <laughs> I had no idea what sound about, wave. to be honest, Pete. I tuned out ages ago. <laughs> I'm just thinking about who's a stylist. Two good-looking people in front of the screen for me, yeah. that's all. All right, so that's all Stop we have time game. for today. I want everyone to get ready to feast their eyes on the updated original artwork from Matt Ferguson. That will include a new front and back cover, inner gatefold, sleeves, and J-cards. So this vinyl is remastered audio by Sony Music, and it comes across two premium colored LP splatter designs manufactured by Memphis Recording Pressing Plus, two additional bonus tracks for a total of 42 tracks, 40 from the original score, one unreleased track, and our new remix of the opening theme that you just heard. I think it's so, clouds. <laughs> this will be available for purchase in July. We'll also have physical copies at San Diego Comic-Con. So I hope to see everybody there. Matt, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Cheers. Spider Father. Huge thanks to Matt Ferguson for hanging out with Kelly, showing us that <laughs> little behind the scenes on the artwork. When you guys get to see it, really good. Um, been talking with Matt for a while. He's been working on it. It's very awesome. If you know his style, you kind of know where it's going. Yeah. Excited to get that in hands later this year. Um, so yeah, let's get to the plastic. Uh, I do you think the that actually the really the about the same height, or do you think someone's kneeling to match up to a good We're all kind of cowabunga. We're picking it. Standing on the box. Um, being very honest, I'm on a plane right now, not even getting a chance to watch this. I'm on my way to WonderCon this weekend to hang out with all you wonderful people. But here is the official reveal what? for Project Renaissance. It's not First live. Off, you see the dio shot of Party Wagon. Shout out to Matt. Oh. Doing this photo shoot for us internally. So you can see. What could this be? I don't know. Mode. Then we can transition here into the bot mode. And you see we have a very generic looking turtle. The front of the van comes off because of the shield. There's a lot of weapons there. And then let's very check out this third photo. Tell. And I think you're going to have an I've idea never what's seen going a tell on that looks like this. You are actually able to turn Party Wallop into all four turtles. So again, this really fun Party shot Wallop. on the top. Um, you can see that you're able to make wow, four cool of your favorite Ninja Turtles yeah. out of this item. So let's check it out on the table here. This thing is awesome. Party Wallop. Oh, look at Super the... fun. Oh. I can't believe we're doing a turtle oh, thing. Oh, man. Oh. This is amazing. Yeah, so our good friends at Nickelodeon oh. and Ninja Turtles are also celebrating oh, wait, 40 years this year. so Transformers. 40 years for Transformers. Oh, they can't have a go at me for the new Turtles, turtles collection. This felt like the perfect item. Brilliant. Kind Super of having great. a little bit of a pop culture week this week, so wanted to get this out there. So yeah, as you oh, can so see, they must have a little fully different kitted belt buckles. with all the things, right? Yeah, they've got changeable bits, did not He has a bow staff, two size, two nunchucks. So you can see one in his hand. Uh, the nunchucks actually store up here in his shoulder pads. Super fun. Um, and then there's some ability here on him. You can actually spin his belt to get the different icons for your favorite turtle. And then the head just like pulls off, pops on, and so you can you swap it. So bandanas. you get all the bandanas. So like you can everybody's pick your favorite turtle. You get to pick your favorite turtle yeah. or all of them. That's clearly the right. Nice ball. And then one in party wagon mode. So five. If you're a mitten pack collector, six. So. But again, like the idea here was we didn't want to exclude any turtle fan from liking this item. We wanted to make sure we were inclusive of all of them because everybody has a favorite. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Mine's Raphael. I pop from Donatello. Easily. No one likes oh, oh, man. I'm, yeah. a, I'm, I'm a Donatello. Yeah, not a Moff does. Like, Moff does. Maybe because it's probably the costume I had when I was a kid, and we are not going to go find that photo because it is super <laughs> embarrassing. But I remember having a bow staff and playing with it for a very long time. So oh, it might be why. Wow. And somehow post. we picked red and purple. So Autobot and Decepticon uh, colors. So oh, why not? How did well, I? Oh, to the purple that one, guys. I don't know how that happened. Interesting. I didn't even think of that. I love the package. <laughs> yes. Uh, huge oh. shout out to Amy from our packaging team for working on this and Mizuka from our structure team. She also worked on this. Um, 
So we wanted to have Turtle Shell, but have it be cybernetic <clears throat> and be very Cybertronian. So we got to merge both brands very that well there. Very, cool. very shell shocked by this. <laughs> yeah. um, super, super. super Don't want to get out very of pocket. Awesome fortieth anniversary oh, item. This will be coming out later this summer, but we'll be available for pre-order today at one Just p.m. By, Eastern by... Standard Time. Hasbro Pulse, Target, and all other two. fan places that you like to pre-order That'll items be out. The Hilton. Um, That'll be okay. Tons of stuff. More to come on this. More, more stuff to show you. <laughs> Heroes the in the half shell, ready to roll out. Huh? Ah, it out. Only <laughs> you with, like, so, yeah, very excited to finally get this out there. Um, again, hoping the dullest uh, turtle the character ever. Last night, this hasn't leaked, but I'll find out when I finally We're land it and we'll know. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, the so, sticking walls, with collabs, let's talk about an item that's getting a reissue. Um, some of you probably checked out Ghostbusters Frozen Empire this past weekend, um, that came out. Uh, just recently, so if you haven't had a chance yet, we have this beautiful Ectotron um, getting a reissue. So Ooh, you wow, can that see was a good the alt mode image again, that very iconic vehicle mode. Then you can see what he turns into bot. And you can see here in pack this very classic, iconic um, G1 packaging we have on the table here. Yeah. This is the only single I still have to around the building for the time being. Re -release. So, yeah, you get the stack card on the back. back. Very fun. Um, so yeah, you get a chance. You can go pre-order this. Um, has repulse and select fan retailers. Um, this will be coming to you pretty soon, I believe. Um, but just want to have a chance to get that back out there. A lot of new Transformers fans came in since our last live action film and just, you know, Ghostbusters is very topical and relevant. Again, pop culture is kind of the focus of today all cool. around. So I love that Slimer comes in the pack. Love it's fun. It's a really, slime. I mean, yeah. it's a very awesome vehicle all around. Good color. It is. Good it's very iconic. And all very forms. excited. Yeah. All right. So we're going to keep it rolling. Up next is a Pulse exclusive that was revealed as part of our 40th anniversary press release. So here you can oh, see Shockwave today. Um, from oh, the comic pack in oh. alt mode. And then finally, we can check him out here in his bot mode, along with that floating Optimus Prime head that we have talked about a little bit here and there. Oh, he's um, not fully floating. <laughs> social media. Uh, so here we have it in hand. Let's, Evan, I mean, let's talk about this little comic universe pack we got going on. Well, okay. The G1 comic books, a lot of people Colors are very are entry points. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we celebrate the animation, but we don't really talk about the, the G1 comic all that much. Which kind of set up the cartoon. I do. Like, yeah, the media a little bit. It's amazing. <laughs> it we is. do. Um, <laughs> for those that don't remember, I think it was from issues like 5 to 12, Optimus Prime was a severed head <laughs> uh, in the comic books. Uh, because Shockwave had come in and he had taken control of the Decepticon. Oh, the UK he was, the was much, while, much more issues. He was trying to farm the Creation <laughs> Matrix well, that's true. out of Optimus Prime's head. Uh, so worked with hasui san on this where we were like i want to make an accessory <laughs> of that. And he was like oh we've never done that done before that. Yeah. Oh, okay i've got ideas and he came up with this he mimicked the comic pretty perfectly uh i love the halftone pattern that you actually I remember have that on these so we were on the floor. To figure out how to do like comic book <laughs> styling right and i I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. He pops out a lot because he's in like those lighter purples mm -hmm. instead of like the mm -hmm. dark purple that we Yeah, especially his hand moment. with his cannon. It just makes me purple, want like them just to do a purple version now in that color without the, uh, the comic panel book box deck, deck, deck on, on it as well. Um, but you still do, like wouldn't we? And I'll buy it. feel when you open up the side. I sat. That's the version in the three. Isn't that the color three pack? Yeah, but that's darker. Is it dark? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, so it's just good. very iconic. And then the fun part here, we're going to show you the spine. Maybe mm. you can understand. Um, we clearly showed mm. Grimlock. I think that image has made its way around the internet. So you can see yep. we're building out a scene. There will be more of these coming as time permits. Um, you know, when we get to show Confirmation. Gotta love that just a few style. other things. Real quick. Yeah. So obviously, the <laughs> the severed head holding mechanism. <laughs> I think the throne room's to Kara, WJ. That you kind of have to nip out yourself. Just calling that out. I enjoy a sprue. Uh, yeah. I enjoy a sprue. I know. Well, we were just what? talking about turtles. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, what better way to celebrate 40 years than to have a sprue and a toy? Yeah. Yeah. Sprue and a pancake. Oh, going back. And the other <laughs> no, thing, there's no feeding you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to drop this Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our Earthrise Optimus Prime. Just real quick. and then I'm With gonna... the head on there. No, no, no. What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> it never happened. No, no. Um, 
So this item is a Pulse exclusive, will be available for pre-order today as well, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, HasbroPulse.com. Make sure you get your pre-orders in. So I what is the time difference? Very popular, Eastern very time. awesome 40th anniversary item. Uh, five hours? Quickly. And there are more coming. There are more, yeah. We have, we have the Grimlock. Like hear. We have the Grimlock that we've already revealed. He'll be, he'll be coming to order is five, next I think. Month. We'll talk about that. Right. Mm -hmm. And then there's more to reveal. Um, Throughout the year, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, it's the grim lockdown. Oh, is it more now? Because there are a lot of things. 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 The the All right. Yeah. It, it so then, lastly, for an item to show off today, yeah. this was actually revealed by our good friend so Target. They put this up for pre-order early this morning. This is their fourth um, exclusive of the month. Rohan's um, at five hours currently. 40th anniversary. So let's check, yeah, check so out this five awesome five. dio image. <gasps> All four of them. Yeah, they are. Shot by our good friend Dave White. Here you can see Cliff Jumper versus three Decepticons. Do you know that Tarnite show, show looks? Let's see what's going on for characters. Okay. Here. <laughs> I don't and then like we're going to pop on over much. to the alt mode image. It's based off the Cyberverse one, isn't it? Is that way that he's facing the Cyberverse one? They just gave him more that color. We're going to be very excited for. And then one that I definitely hinted at way back at Pulse. Watch these cheeks out, um, boys. So I think this pack's pretty fun. Squeeze, play, crab monster. It's funny to see everyone wanting the different figures. You know, some people are excited for Squeeze, play. Other right people in the just front there. And so he's a partial jumper. of mind wipe worked with hasui san on this character and as you know in super god master force he was known as cancer so the character that is for his headmaster well, i'm gonna open him up here he actually resembles that character as well oh nice yeah he's with a the titan plate mask on. Pretty that cool. so colors are lovely. there is colors a titan are definitely head mask, strong yes. and like yeah. he also has his like shield and Options i just love Options. the whole crazy snaked out cobra crab with <laughs> like you can put the little <laughs> browning gun in there it's We're pretty finishing wait. the headmaster juniors for um yeah super god master yes yeah, so slowly, yeah yes, so boy, once we did like angry and a couple of other those other characters we're going to try to flesh out that to justify buying it also have some really good i need no justification here. yes so he's playing a box see, i'm buying it jumper he's kind of the hero of this well, pack it's it's him hard has a sword three big bad decepticons see, really jumper awesome. can go on my yeah. prime yeah. shelf yeah, that's fine that Pulse Con and we showed off chase and like it was fun to watch like by the end of the day you all had nailed where we were going there was yep. two different options but we saw the, the... and tarantulas can go to someone who likes peace pools yeah kunihiro so san worked on that character and he really went overboard to try to get the like, horns on the front you know they'll get the horns <laughs> like so that was huge and he also has the ability to use the accessories to make his try uh barrel blaster chase, isn't it? that is featured in the episode yes Prime. Well, really no, i love the car mode i don't know why just the car mode sings yeah, to me absolutely and then uh to move on we'll jump over to uh, we'll go to tarantulas we'll okay, go to tarantulas okay. so tarantulas How do you want to as some of you know in Beast Wars, when Tarantulas' toy was first <laughs> now, featured now, in the commercial, <laughs> he was featured as like a translucent orange spider. And that toy never actually came out. Horrifying. So, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get it in translucent, God, but he is orange there, and it? he is looking God, very like Teenage Mutant Turtle-esque <laughs> with his green <laughs> helmet there. But it also matches everybody out there that ended up getting that four pack with the fangry the arachnia that had her uh almost uh so they're putting in the figure of it you know, it? One leopard did. print <laughs> yeah, yeah bathing yeah. suit on type that, of was deal. Never actually that released character or really does reign supreme with this character they're the same color I'm green so they make quite the duo how many tarantulas figures we've had in last few years yeah. plus it just looks amazing it looks like it a shiny like, 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 yeah. like gold yeah. you got on here too and it does have the toy head that's an also a new head right oh. there that Hasui san did design as well also so here we jump in over to the cyberverse universe Our voyager tarn in the cyberverse universe is pretty wild in that episode he's like an army of tarns mm -hmm. and they all have oh, that crazy army building. like oh, silver grimace on his face so we did it why not yeah yeah it actually looked really cool and we were able to put in the sword that was from that bludgeon mold in with him so he's really armed to the teeth and the colors obviously sing in this mold yeah yeah, dark colors. So I uh, wondered where I got that comment saying from. It's been Marcus. He's in my head. <laughs> I didn't even know. Available on Hasbro Pulse as well as on Target.com. If this is sold out on Pulse, you can have. I think I started Target. saying that to it's Owlfire there. like a couple of months ago, and I thought, summer, I where did I get that so, face from? Plenty of time to get the pre-order in. <laughs> Um, and get this pack sent so, to you. It's yeah. super fun. Yeah. One of, like, the Ray, you're right. Seventy pound for a squeeze play is a bargain. More packs that we've been able to pull off. So <laughs> Voyager, three deluxes, yeah. all brand new characters. With, 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 
accessories. <laughs> Multiple I mean, really robot accessories. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that does oh, it for fantastic. physical products. I need two fangries now. Um, well, I've got one fangry. One thing I need another. It's like, hey, you guys, I've been doing a Through the Space Fridge segment. Well, we had four of these planned. We were doing That's 40th we'll anniversary do. stuff. That's what we'll do. We'll set all for you, I'm about to. Focusing on legacy product and 40th anniversary. Hornbill is the next one, isn't it? Or Horrorbill. Things like the Ectotron. Yeah, Horrible. We've never had a Horrible. It's a good pop culture. Yeah, so we sat with the other two. Let's go back to the Space Fridge. It's been a while, right? So, but first, I don't think any of these are really going to shock anybody because it seems like a lot of these have leaked out. Um, some are available. Be, <laughs> some are available. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they'll be available for pre-order very yeah, soon on, if you there. pick up the hint there. So up first, you can check out on the screen here, we have Deluxe Concept Art Sunstreaker. Yep. This one's fun. Right? Yeah, from Transformers yeah, Bumblebee movie. I doubt in some places, yeah. There were a couple extra just characters that didn't to. end up making that Canada, first like, five Chile. minutes in the <laughs> intro of Cybertron, but we All have the hot spots. Perfect. So, and yeah. All the places with dangerous bears have noticed. Let's just... <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, let's do more of that. As opposed to those soon. safe bears. Yeah. Up next, also in the deluxe assortment for the second wave of studio series for the year, is War for Cybertron video game Sideswipe. So here you can check out yeah. that image. If Paul will like that, but I'm not yep. interested. Finally getting his own no. unique mold. Because we showed it, didn't we? Day, I don't think he was that enamored. Yeah, yeah, so it, right. years ago. It wasn't, it wasn't right. It wasn't, yeah. It like, yeah, it wasn't dead on. Right. So we were, I think we were able to get there this time. Oh, and, awesome. and yes, when I was planning the wave, I very specifically put Sunstreaker and Sideswipe together. <laughs> yes, of so, course. Right. Of course you did. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, and then in our Voyager slot, um, again, we get Why to did I see movie movie to be, of course you did, you dick. It's <laughs> <laughs> already out uh, too. Let's check out Voyager Shockwave here through. Uh, in some place, some people have received this. this. Fun. Sam actually worked on this. Yes, he did. Yeah, he worked on it with you. Yeah, Shockwave with the effect files. Oh, really cool. Um, got to check out in the office. <laughs> As you can do, like, reveal. give us yeah, something, like, Evan. Um, and then last but not least, coming through the Space Bridge, I don't think this is going to surprise anybody, but we're going to officially say it's official, official. Um, check out this image. We got Leader Swoop, finally. Swoop. <laughs> <laughs> when do we get to see it? Uh, well, yeah. that was a big build for yeah. Mr. Swoop. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Thank you for uh, not And it's leader swoop. Yeah, well, a lot of people who like, can't say me what did I do it, swoop, and I used to go, get stuff. <laughs> no. Then he uh, said, Voyager, awesome. no, it's got to be a leader. He's got to be big like the other yeah, Dinobots. Finally have a complete Dinobot collection. Some really Getting awesome. passionate. Because I'll tell you, when I walked into Evan's cube and he had them all displayed, yeah. I almost fell over. <laughs> it is fun every time you walk into like, Evan's ah. office, he has them like in front of his He's the Alexis of engineering team, isn't he? You have to address the council before you come in. <laughs> so, yeah. so again, uh, official reveal images, the actual product soon. Um, but you know, we had to get all five done. When so soon? Keep it because clearly we need to make sure we do that version. soon, BMAC. Yeah, I mean, I guess. there's a lot to we've, do with them. We've, You'll be dead by the end, Pete. Me, I'm well, sorry. Seeing as you, you have been blue, Jamie, yeah. seeing as you single-handedly <laughs> convinced Hasbro to make <laughs> Super <laughs> Leader, <laughs> do you know when they're releasing it? I have no idea. <laughs> no. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? 20, 20. Why not? Oh, all, all I know is I'm young uh, enough so yeah, to appreciate so Studio whenever series they come out. Pre orders reveals officially soon. Very soon. soon. Very soon. I, I don't know now, if I can say soon. Now, soon. 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 Uh, so, yeah, more to come on that. All right, let's recap. This was a fun, quicker stream. Four items today as well. Um, so, again, thanks to Kelly for hopping on to talk about the coins yes. as well as talk with Matt about the artwork and the vinyl that's coming. Very exciting. Can't wait for you all to check that out. Um, we had the Turtles collab, so Party Wallop, that you can turn into all four turtles. Very fun. Pre-order today, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, has Repulse and other select retailers where you like to pre-order your toys. I'm amazed you got that right every time, because I'm always like, Party Wagon. It's like, no, <laughs> yeah. that's not his name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, then, it, took about, it took a lot to get used to. Yeah. Yeah. It Tron. is the Party Wagon. But yeah, uh, Ectotron. Yes. Ectotron. Um, so again, you get a chance to get him again if you haven't. Um, a reissue of that and rerun to buy that. Again, has Repulse select fan retailers, um, followed by our Pulse exclusive comic universe, um, celebrating 40 years of Transformers history through the uh, Marvel comics from 1984. Mm -hmm. Awesome, floating Optimus Prime head with Shockwave. Great <laughs> art on that. So start your collection. There'll be more of those coming throughout the year. <laughs> the figure is a part for least, that. Our uh, no. Target exclusive Legacy United four pack Cliff Jumper versus three wonderful Decepticons. Again, uh, was went up for pre-order earlier this morning. Hopefully, you got that email. Limited quantity available at Hasbro Pulse. If it is sold out there, you can head on over to Target and you get a chance to pre-order that. And it'll be coming out this summer. 
Uh, pretty sure I kept that Predacon symbol on there. Actually, no. I'm saying, uh, yeah, oh yeah, he's got yeah. the Predacon symbol on there. <laughs> so, no uh, change in TV deal. Thank you again for joining us every Thursday for the last four weeks. It's been a lot going on. Thank you again to everybody that backed the HasLab. Yes. Highest backer count total ever. Second highest for all HasLabs. Yeah, for Transformers. For Transformers, sorry. Yeah. 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 Second <laughs> highest ever for all HasLabs. Um, we appreciate yeah. it. Support. It's very good to see that the celebration You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. legacy is You're working. You're speaking to me, David. <laughs> every series is somebody's G1, and they're apparently robots in disguise was definitely a lot of people's G1, it seems. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so when, the, when those cars be... came back into town. So, yeah, very excited to finally get that into production officially. So we can't wait to get that in your hands next year. So uh, until next time, we'll be back in April with a fan stream at some point. More to come on that. Ooh. But Studio Series reveals and pre-order soon. Soon. Yep. I'm just going to keep saying soon. soon. I think you'll all soon. get it. Uh, more to come. For those of you who are coming to WonderCon this weekend, I look forward to seeing you all. Uh, I believe our panel is 3 p.m. in room 300E, so make sure to line up early because I don't know how big the capacity is. Uh, but definitely stop by, say hi to us, and chat with us, and that'll be a lot of fun. So until next time, Transformer fans, uh, thank you again for celebrating 40 years of legacy with us all month. Lots more to come. We have a very busy year. Yeah, I mean, and the celebration is not just this month. No, no, no. It's it was for the rest of the year. Very much a highlight. Yeah. 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 So until next time, thanks. We'll see you all soon. Everybody roll out. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. I like there you it. have it. We got to see Swip. Swip's yeah. official now. They can't go back on it or there'll be war. You know, pitchforks and gnashing of false teeth. Or maybe <laughs> even people can't teeth. complain that we never even saw anything about Swoop because we did. We saw the same cartoon picture they put up, I'm sure, once before. But it's yeah. there. <laughs> on, from it. the 80s. From Again. their mouths. Anyway. <sighs> so, Majestic. Pete, what, yeah, we already know that Jamie's probably going to order at least two of everything. I've ordered that yeah. four pack. What are you going to get? I mean, the um, shock seem to excite you. Yeah, yeah, definitely the shockwave. Uh, definitely the turtles. I feel like I might have to go in for two because I think the packaging is sublime. We're getting everything, um, aren't we? Basically, that's it. We're getting everything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the royal I, we. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I don't think I'm interested in any of the space for stuff apart from swoop. Um, and then I think no. we'll just see how we go. Swoop is the I, one that I want to see. I just, I yeah. just want to see it. Once I've seen it, I can just kind of relax. And then you can <sighs> lick it. You can own it and lick it. Well, well, yeah. once I've got it, probably not before. I'm not the screen. That's just <laughs> <No>. wrong. <laughs> As a rule for life, if anybody's watching, please don't. Look <laughs> <laughs> not unless you really want to. You know, not even when you're out and about, like you know, in curries <laughs> <laughs> or windows or anything else. In I fact. Mean, I, uh, this um, belongs to me now. Yes, <laughs> I'm it. wrecking it. See this, Dan? Transform this thing, you fucker. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Oh. Yeah. But I thought I thought it was interesting. I mean, I'm, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really think we have time to get into the full debate about whether these leaks are positive or negative. You know, the ones that we get um, beforehand, but it's just... It's just... I don't know. <laughs> Techno, no, no, be... If you're not liking stuff you're playing, Techno Boy, you're now you know a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you I, mean you don't uh, like your toys, Techno Boy? <laughs> my only comment you on it. Are you even a real fan? <laughs> <laughs> my only comment on it is if um, a leaker has got hold of an official stock photo, it calls into question the integrity of the leak. The thing is, the the, the four pack leaks. They were clearly photos of a screen, which I think will have come from Target. I think somebody at Target, who's a Transformers fan, has spotted these and gone snap, snap on their mobile phone, yeah. and hence we get them. And I, I kind of agree with, I'd rather not have seen them that way and then had the excitement of the reveal here today. But it didn't dull my excitement to see them, even though it was leaked. Like I mean, last night, you may have noticed, I was going to bed. And I was literally in bed about to turn yeah, my phone off. I was waiting for you. I was going, Andy, hurry up and pull. <laughs> yeah, Jamie was about to lick me. But then yeah. instead, I shared that I shared that because that was just, I was just to control my excitement. And I just want, I was like, I must tell the world, Squeeze Play is back. I, I thought I I'd mean, be the only one who cared, but apparently not. You, the thing about the Turtle Party wagon is, was I, I logged on and then, um, and it was Amazon. Amazon had sh shown the pictures. So everyone mm. was got really good pictures of this. And, um, so straight away, you know, I'm making a post 
and then I realised Amazon had even more pictures. So I went, Fuck, I've got to delete my post and put on like, other stuff. And then I shared it in news because I thought, you know what, I can't delete Twitter. And I was actually genuinely really excited because because it was Amazon that was leaking it. It felt like it was more like an accidental leak because Amazon were putting up the orders. It felt like there was nothing malicious or anything behind the scenes. And everyone got to experience it. It wasn't just getting controlled by a couple of like outlets. You know, suddenly everyone was having it. So it was already on Facebook. And, and I was really excited. And, and I know a lot of other people were excited. But the interesting thing was um, the Shooting Galaxy guy who does the toy photography, he was like, who's leaked it? Because he wanted to know so he could actually go and say, look, here's the photos I did. Because obviously yeah, he has some to... good photos if he's going to show yeah. anything. Yeah. And because sometimes I think what he said to me in the comment, I'm probably reading a lot into this, but he says sometimes it's hard to know when it's official or when it's leaked, you know. So, mm -hmm. and, yeah, you yeah. know, it's hard to get that information. And, and I was like, him, yeah, I would be like, I want to show my photos straight off so it must be so hard to keep that in your mouth shut uh wj in answer to your question it depends what you mean because obviously we had the senator rat bat that came in that two pack was it uh what was it called origins two pack something like that and there's that version of rat bat based off the scourge sir so studio series scourge mold if you're talking about rat bat as a tape when did we last get rat bat as a tape uh it would have been was it the power no, yeah, yeah 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 but I don't think it was widely available, that one. I think some people had problems getting that. It was in a two-pack with, like, Frenzy or something. Yeah. Or was it Rumble? No, it was Frenzy. It was Frenzy. <laughs> I, I don't even know anymore. I get confused sometimes. And, <laughs> I, and was, anyone uh, says uh, any different, and it, they're lying. And, and it often feels to me like the whole Air Fries thing didn't really happen. I know there was boxes with Air Fries in it, but because Netflix wasn't really Air Fries, it didn't happen to what I perceived it was going to be. So I've ignored it. It's just Siege now. Siege and Kingdom. Oh, dear. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a good stream. It was good stuff. I think they knew the stuff was going to get leaked, even though they probably did their best not to. It just, unfortunately, it just happened the night before. Um, they've obviously done it pre-recorded because they talked about them already being off in a plane somewhere. But, yeah, you know. Uh, uh, well, overall, I think it was uh, interesting reveals. Uh, I will enjoy discussing them further with your good selves and the rest of the team on tomorrow's show. But, oh, um, yeah. We well, Alexis you. will probably go, that's shit, that's shit. Yeah. And we'll go, no, Guaranteed. no, you're wrong, Alexis, you're wrong. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that'll be a discussion. And then we'll win the discussion because we'll <laughs> use big words. Alexis will be good going on. And he will that still get so kicked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He'll turn up drunk, it'll be fine. <laughs> How many turtles do you think you'll order, people? Will you order one or two? Two. Two. One <laughs> in the package. Um, yeah, one because you're not sure how it comes and I don't want to destroy the package and open up one. Have you got um, the Ecto? No, I haven't. I would no. recommend getting that because at least it's a good box now. It's a good package. Not the the re, remember they released it again. It was in a bad packaging. I thought if it's mm. in the if it's in the proper packaging, which I can't point to because I've got a fucking screen saver thing on my back. I get it because I, <coughs> I recommend that toy. That it's wonderful alt mode, and in that classic eighties vibe packaging, it's like gold. It really is. Yeah. Um, Techno Boy is part of Arafire's subcontractor contract. Yeah. Uh, he will not be live tomorrow night. Um, so... Don't say that because then he will. No, no, you're going to watch, you're gonna have to watch, watch us. He, you know, don't watch him, Techno Boy. He, he won't be licking his toys like we do because he's not a real fan. And, and and he might just do, I don't know, a pay per view in the shower. I don't know. Enjoy yourself. That'll be Jamie's <laughs> next shot. It'll just be him licking Grimlock. <laughs> Seductively, like again, a lolly. Again, to music. Yeah. <laughs> and on that bombshell, <laughs> we should probably stop. Yeah. <laughs> We're just getting good. Uh, right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here for this same level of debauchery and more tomorrow night from 8 pm. Thank you, people. Thank you very much. <laughs>I swear we should start our only fans okay? just for the laugh, just to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just for the lols. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the peas. <bees. laughs>
Uh, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> goodbye.